briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 2004 case, Menasha Corp filed an antitrust lawsuit against News America Marketing in-store Inc. NamUs, accusing the company of violating federal antitrust laws. Menasha claimed NamUs had gained too much market power by signing exclusive contracts with retailers, effectively excluding competition. The primary issue in the case was whether at-shelf coupon dispensers, such as those produced by Namis and Menasha, constituted a distinct market and if Namis held a monopoly over it. The district court granted summary judgment to the defendants, arguing that possessing a large share of at-shelf coupon dispensers did not grant Namis market power. They noted that at-shelf coupons promote sales without lowering prices for all customers and serve the interests of consumers. The court ultimately dismissed Menasha's business tort claim and affirmed the district court's decision, finding that Namus did not violate antitrust laws or achieve an unusually high return on investment, and that exclusive contracts would not be advantageous for coupon service consumers. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class